Hello everyone, I'm Tabitha with Moonlight Custom Creations and today I'm bringing you some Tumblr hacks. Now some of these hacks I've already known about and some of these hacks I wish I would have known whenever I started making tumblers. Let's go ahead and let's get started. Alright y'all. This is the tumbler that I'm going to be using to show you all the hacks that I have for you today. Now for hack number one, we all hate cleaning out spray paint inside the tumbler. For this first part of the hack, I got it from Duncan Custom Airbrush. And what I'm doing here is I'm going to be applying painter's tape along the inside of the tumbler. The reason why I'm doing that is it's going to create a little ledge so when you get the edge of that tumbler up towards the top, the spray paint is not going to seep inside of it. As you can see right there, it creates a little lip on the tumbler so you won't get any spray paint inside. Now, I do have a second part to this hack, which you're going to apply a paper plate onto your handle. So what you want to do is you want to find the middle of the paper plate and then just go ahead and trace around your, um, your little handle there. I just did that with a permanent marker. You can use a pen or anything else. You could also use a quarter for this because usually a quarter is about the right size. So now I'm just going to cut out the hole right here. Just using a pair of scissors, you just want to cut that out. And then you can just slide your handle through there just like that and then put it onto your tumbler. Now you don't have to keep the tape on. Obviously you can just use the paper plate and you could also see that this paper plate can also protect your hands as well. So possibly we could be using less gloves. Now for hack number two, I did know about this hack and it's all about sealing your vinyl. So we're just going to pick a spot on this tumbler that we're going to put a decal on. And the importance of sealing your vinyl is you don't want it to lift whenever you want to put whenever you put your epoxy on there. So what we're doing is we're just going to apply our decal here. And we're going to be using the Mod Podge method to apply well for our sealer. So I'm just going to take my makeup brush and my Mod Podge here and then I'm going to apply the Mod Podge all over the tumbler. Now with this you could also use this to seal your glitter and you can also use polyacrylic or Rust-Oleum 2 times clear and it will work just the same. And that will prevent your vinyl from lifting and the Mod Podge will dry clear. Now we have hack number three. Now this, I took a piece of white vinyl and I didn't have a vinyl that was hot pink. So I just spray painted my vinyl. I got this hack from Courtney's Customs and I will link her channel down in the description box below. Now what you wanna do for the second part of this hack what is we're going to glitter our decal. I did cut out two hearts on here and the first part of this hack was just a regular glitter and I got this from VMD Designs and I will have her channel linked in the description box below as well. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to lay this flat because I didn't have my Cricut mat out here and I'm going to apply Mod Podge to the base 
of our heart and then we're going to put some goddess from the glitter grind over top now what I'm doing is I'm just taking a little makeup brush and I'm applying a layer of Mod Podge now you want to put a pretty decent layer just like you were glittering a tumbler here and you want to put that all over the decal and it's okay if you get it outside of the decal the excess just flakes off as soon as the Mod Podge is dry and it doesn't affect the glitter at all that's on the tumbler. So once we get our Mod Podge down on the decal, we're just going to take our glitter here. As you can see, I almost forgot a piece of paper. We're just gonna take our glitter and we're just going to put it over top of that decal here. And as you can see, we have a glitter vinyl. So you just want this Mod Podge to dry and you want to put an extra layer of Mod Podge on top just to seal that glitter in. Now for the second part of this, we will be using a tacket method. So I'm using tacket over and over and I have it in my little medicine cup here. I did not dilute it at all, so it's just straight tacket. So I'm going to apply some tacket over my decal, just like I did with the Mod Podge method. Now this method, I just kind of messed around with it and that's how I discovered this. I don't, I'm sure somebody else out there has done this method before, I just haven't seen it. So once I get a layer of the tacket over there, I'm going to take my heat gun and I'm going to kind of speed up the drying process on this. That way I'm not waiting there for the 15 minutes for it to dry. I am going to put a second layer of the Aline's tacket over and over just to make sure that I get full coverage on this because I don't want any um, I don't want any holes or anything in my glitter so I always do two coats just to be sure now that I got the second coat on there I'm also gonna go in with my heat gun to speed up the heating process Now I'm checking it to make sure that it's nice and tacky and I'm going to go in with Interstellar from the Glitter Grind and this um, is a holographic glitter so I'm just going to pour some on there and get rid of my excess on that piece of paper and now we just go to town like we do on a tumbler. You just want to rub it in. And this turns out absolutely gorgeous. I'm definitely going to put this on a tumbler. Now I just swept up the excess, the contaminated glitter, that way I don't put that back in the bottle. And at, look how gorgeous that is right there. Absolutely amazing. Now I'm just taking these two decals and I'm going to plop this on the tumbler. That way you can see what these decals look like on a tumbler. So the first one that we're doing is the glitter one with the Mod Podge on there. And then we're going to take the tacket one that we did. I'm going to peel that off and I'm going to put it on the tumbler as well. And here is both the glitter vinyls on our tumbler. Absolutely beautiful. All right, y'all, here is hack number four. Now here, this is my little hack. I got 
two of these little tubs from the Dollar Tree and we're just going to place one underneath our little turner here and I also cut out a little hole that way it doesn't rub the top part of our turner whenever it starts spinning around. Now we're just going to apply our cup in there and we're just going to place the other one on top. Now what this prevents, it prevents any dust or any flies or gnats or anything getting on the tumbler as your, as your tumbler is turning with the epoxy on there. And you could also put each one of these on each one of your turners and you can't beat that for two bucks. Now we have hack number five. Now hack number five I saw on TikTok and unfortunately I did not get the name. So what we're going to do here is we're actually going to strip the tumbler using our heat gun. And I will probably be using this method from here on out because it was so fast and so easy I just hate waiting for acetone and wrapping my tumbler, letting it sit overnight when this can be done in like 10-15 minutes. So what you want to do is you want to heat your tumbler up and then take a box cutter or an X-Acto knife right here. And then I went ahead and I took my heat gun and I heated it up again. And what this does is it softens up the epoxy. And as you can see here, it just starts to peel away. At first, it's kind of slower because you're trying to get um, that epoxy off of there. But it, once you get it started, it just really, it just peels off. And then you get down to your base paint. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go all around the tumbler here, heat it up and then continue to peel and using my X-Acto knife to get any edges that won't lift. Now that I have about half of the tumbler done here, I was just showing you how easy it comes off once you get it started. Here I'm just using peeling up with my X-Acto knife and then peeling the rest of it up and this huge piece is just peeling right off. Now here I'm heating up the bottom, that way we can get the bottom taken off. And I'm doing that exactly how I was doing the rest of the tumbler. You just want to heat it up and then take your X-Acto knife or your box cutter and just start peeling off at the bottom. I also cut a slit down and did it that way and that was so much easier to get it off there. And you just continue to peel until you get all the epoxy off. This hack was absolutely genius. And I did see it on TikTok. All right, now that we got all the epoxy off there, now you can just sand the tumbler down and reuse it. Easy peasy. 
and that took me all about maybe 15 minutes to do. All right, y'all, those are the Tumblr hacks that I have for you. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see y'all next time. Bye.